Transformers, robots in disguise. Transformers, do, do, do. robots in disguise. Autobot them. All right, yeah, that's Transformers animated. That's not this, but 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 these are animated looking figures. <laughs> I, I guess I don't know. What's up, everybody? Happy day to you once again. It is Paul, otherwise known here on YouTube as Optobotomus, coming at you with another video review. And on today's episode, we're going to be taking a look at the very special Transformers Legacy United. Um, forgot what this is called. Uh, it, it's a five pack of Transformers. Look, look, look at the title. Where, where's the title? Yeah, it's right there. Look at that. That's that's what these guys are called. Basically, what we have for the most part most part we have repainted versions of um four fifths of these figures uh giving them a more cartoon accurate look and then you have one figure that is a heavy retool and uh is phenomenal looking uh but we'll get to all that here in a bit um packaging wise they all come in this box uh it's very boring for the box for the most part uh you got like images of the different characters right there you have the transformers legacy united logo with the autobot logo not really anything special about the box it's kind of plain and boring honestly uh but uh the reason i'm not really kind of focusing on it is because when you come up here as you can see here are those original figures and i i didn't want to um move the box or anything <laughs> because i got them up on there and it's kind of cool but um i'm gonna try doing something uh, because a lot of times i don't show uh, a lot of the you know transformations or anything like that when they're figures that are basically just repaints uh, but i do want to show the differences in terms of vehicle modes and the robot modes the problem is i, I still don't my computer is still not operating um at all so it's it's hard to kind of do that and i don't want this video to get too long with me showing the transformation um on five different figures or technically 10 different figures so i'm gonna try to do a cut here and and, and splice the two videos together hopefully it works out but starting off first we're gonna go from this side to that side because more on this side is where things dramatically change first up we have jazz now the original one was studio series jazz uh and we got this a lot of these are like earthrise figures and things like that um again most of these are just repaints uh this is definitely one where it is just primarily a repaint uh, but it is a good repaint one thing like this leg is a little bit loose uh, no it's not terribly bad oh well no well, okay oh no i just didn't have it Locked in there, all that well. Um, but really nice. Uh, I mean, this one is definitely a little bit less than some of the other ones uh, for the most part because you, you can see that, I mean, he's definitely a much brighter white. This one does have a little bit of a, a creamy kind of color to it. You got some nice silver paint here in the front, uh, whereas this is just gray plastic. Uh, you have the uh, little silver right there. There's nothing there, but you do have... The Autobot logo, which has been replaced with a much bigger one on the new guy. And then you can see the blue section that goes a little bit further back, which looks good. Arms are the same. Gun is same silver for the most part. That, that eh, Maybe. Eh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. I, I, I don't know. Uh, but the, yeah, the face looks really good. Again, you got a little bit more of a gray around the mouth area and then the, uh, the visor. His eyes are a little bit lighter of a blue. Let me come in little bit so you can see kind of all that so a lot of that is kind of the same uh you got a silver torso section right up here that's just great then when you come around to the back you can see a little bit more that we're going to get into the robot mode uh, but you got a slightly different stripe right here and then really nice they have instead of doing the clear windows which is true for all of these figures basically what they did was they took and you could have done that and i would have been perfectly fine with it but you took the uh, the clearish sort of thing and painted it now hasbro has said time and time again that they feel like you know the clear windows are like a premium look right 
Nobody cares about that. I don't know a lot of people that like these clear windows. Do you like the clear windows? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, I don't particularly like them all that much, honestly. I, I think that the blue looks better. I mean, yeah, I get it. It makes it look like a real window. But, you, you know, there's not a lot of space in there, so it doesn't really look like an actual person's going to be sitting there kind of thing. But for the most part, um, you know... There's not, I mean, he's got the silver for the feet, and this is just gray as well. Um, so you don't really see a lot of differences here, but you can totally see that there is a more animation-accurate look to it, which, you know me, I love the animation look for it. So, very cool, very much like the way that Jazz turned out. Now, for Sunstreaker, getting him to kind of stand there, Sunstreaker... This is this is a, a, a very big improvement in, in terms of the coloring. You can see this is very yellow, very bright yellow, which looks good. You know, I mean, this is definitely maybe, you know, like all of those original ones are a little bit more toy colored. This is definitely more animation sort of thing. And the color on this is amazing. It's got that yellowish orange bit in there, which looks great. And again, they replaced the, uh, the clear-ish or semi-translucent blue windshield with the full light blue paint there i mean absolutely love it you got uh, the nice bit right up here kind of put in there giving it a slightly you know more dynamic look uh, again all the way around like the colors are essentially the same uh, but you, one thing that you see noticeably this is a nice silver on there for the forearm section but because again it's not painting anything it's molded in this because i think they completely got rid of the uh, oh yeah they completely got rid of the uh, the translucent window like this entire piece was translucent and then they just painted that so you can see huge difference same thing with the side arms right there so it created a a, a, a difference in the color and, and this just looks so much nicer all the way around uh, you still have the silver for that he actually has a different gun though which which is interesting this is kind of more of like a sniper rifle of sorts this one is and you know what? Mm, I just kind of realized what I said. And today, I don't... I'm, please forgive me. The, the, I, I did not mean anything by it. Uh, but you can see that his gun is different. Which is, again, interesting. So the coloring, pretty much the same. Jazz, same gun. Same, for the most part, color and everything. Uh, just slightly more white. This one has a much different color to it with a different gun. Which... Is interesting to me, but everything again very much the same. And then you got a slightly more grayish head than the black for there. And then again, you got the gray area instead of the silver, a little bit better eye coloring there. So again, really very much like that guy. I mean, all of them I think are improvements. I'll just say that. Taking a look at Trailbreaker here again, not a lot that's really different. Um, I mean, in terms of the overall look, except uh, <laughs> with that blue on there makes them much brighter looking but then also instead of like this solid black it's a little bit more gray which looks good and then you got the more uh, kind of matte gray for the rest of them whereas this has like just kind of drab gray like how that actual gray section continues on whereas that kind of breaks that up but again same kind of weapons and everything but again all the way around you got some silver here for the shins but didn't really need it because the cartoon did not have that so that looks perfect the uh, head sculpt is identical uh, the paint is uh, much brighter eyes there looks really good all the way around and then you can even see this uh, uh back canopy thing has some nice blue paint on there as well and then you take a look at those little top weapons that's a little bit more silver whereas that is more black um that color kind of is similar so again uh, very nice Big improvement, in my opinion. Wheeljack, my personal favorite Transformer of all time. Absolutely love how this guy turned out. I still wish that they did a better job with the uh, little thing here. Uh, you can see that that's the same. Uh, it's just, but you got some silver and everything. So that looks pretty good. Uh, but he, he should definitely have a bigger, like, missile coming out of there. But he also gets... A new gun. I'm not entirely sure if Sunstreaker and Wheeljack's guns are from other figures, but uh, he didn't come with a gun at all, but now he comes with that gun. But again, coloring, fantastic. Uh, much more reminiscent of the actual G1 toy in terms of like the, uh, the off-white color and everything, the green, a lot more racing car 
the the Lancia. I think that's what it is. Uh, but this one, again, much more accurate representation to the cartoon. You got a better chest section right here. You got the windshield that looks good. That heads the head paint. I think is fantastic. I love the lighter gray and then the even lighter gray on there. That looks really good. Uh, I also really like the, the back section here. Now, these have it as well where there's a little bit of silver paint. This just looks a little brighter, kind of. So, I, I, I still don't like that just in general. I mean, I never really did. I think that they could have did a better job with those little back wings. Uh, but it's still really nice. Uh, you got the black for the uh, forearms. You got more light gray there all the way around. Again, looks very good. You got the, um, like I said, the, the more off color. Uh, so, again, very bright in terms of the coloring, but you can see the green and the red and everything. He doesn't have that because he didn't have that on the cartoon. Same thing with the red hubcaps or rims, I guess. These are now silver, which look really good. You also have the 638. You got 638 there, but it's much more toned down because this, again, more designed to look like a race car. And you got those little race car sort of sticker things on there, which he didn't have in the um, the cartoon version. So, again, much more improved. Still kind of wish that they did a better job with this. Uh, you could have very easily have just... Don't give us this. Give us a better one of these. That, that I think, is a little bit more key. But, you know, it is what it is. Now... The Piece de Resistance. Why a lot of people are really kind of um, glad that they have this set, but also a little bit annoyed that they got that set. Or, or that they, you know, have to get this set. Because here is a much more cartoon accurate uh, representation of Hound. This is the Siege Hound. Is this Siege or is this the, the Netflix? I, I don't remember which one it is. Uh, but big difference between this. They put a lot of extra retooling in this, which is why a lot of people are very mad that they got to get this set to get this look for Hound. When this is what I mean, like this is not bad or anything like that. But it doesn't look like the cartoon. It, it looks more like the Netflix thing. This looks like the cartoon, which is fantastic. Uh, completely remolded chest section, which is great. You got a completely remolded crotch piece here. Is that is that? Yeah, that's that's new as well. Uh, thighs are the same. The upper legs here, these are completely different as well. The feet are the same, but those portions of the legs are uh, different uh, between the two. The arms are the same. Um, back section, you can see, gets a little bit different because he doesn't have this little top section right there, which is, you know, in my opinion, okay. Kind of leaves like a gap right there of sorts, but it's, it's not bad. It looks great from this angle. But then also weapon-wise, they changed both of his weapons. This, this, this was his weird weapon that he had before, and this was his uh, shoulder thing. Now, the thing that I don't particularly like, like I love his hollow gun or whatever that's called. I love that. This, though, unfortunately, does not stay in all that well. Coming down here, this one attached very nicely. Uh, like there was no movement. That was in there. That was solid. That was a beautiful connection. This um, is kind of like flimsy in here. Uh, you got the whole section, which that guy does as well. This uh, little peg section just sits in there, and it just, it, it's not, you can kind of see because it's kind of cut in there. And that sits in there, and fireworks, and that is just not sturdy, you know, and it kind of... So, yeah, I'm not a big fan of that, to be totally honest. Figure-wise is beautiful. Uh, I, I was always on board with getting this because I knew that these other figures would definitely appeal to me as well because I love that cartoon look for these guys. And I can get this box out of the way. But you can see you got the little uh, the designs on there. What is this called? Uh, the Autobot Stand United 5-Pack. There you go. That That's what it's called. And then the back section, is that, and then you open it up, and the, the, that's literally, it's literally very thin, you can see. And that literally covers those figures. So getting that out of the way. Oh, sorry, Morgan. Just scared my baby cat. Um, but, um, you know, ultimately, like I said, I knew that this set was not going to be something that I was going to be too terribly bothered by. Am I bothered that, you know, I had to buy these figures? Not so much, because... For me, whenever I replace a figure, like all of these figures, while they're all good, are going to be replaced in my display with these. Did it bother me that I was going to have to buy this set to get this because I knew all of these would be perfectly fine 
to re uh, to replace the previous versions that we got. So never bothered me really at all. They look fantastic. Uh, the molds are all really good. E each one has like slight little nitpicks and things of that nature. But for all intent purposes, great, great figures. Great, great set. Um, just kind of depends on, you know, if, if you know how, how hardcore you want to go in terms of recreating those cartoon looks. Now, this is the part where I'm going to attempt to do a cut and uh, splice the two videos together so I can show you these guys in their vehicle modes and then obviously transform all of these guys to do the comparison. So, cross your fingers. Hopefully, I'll come back and things won't be too terribly messed up. Well, hopefully that worked. Um, yeah, uh, but here they are in the vehicle modes. And again, so much nicer. Uh, realistically, as I talked about, the, the original toys are more designed to look like their actual G1 toy counterpart, not so much the cartoon. These are definitely more designed to look like their cartoon counterpart, and you can see it in every single one of them. Starting off first with Jazz. Again, the uh, actual use of the paint for the windshield is so much nicer, I, I really think. Not that this is bad or anything, but it really doesn't add anything and i know that people will talk about how and i mentioned it before that hasbro has said that that makes it look like a little bit more premium because it makes it look more real these are transformers i mean i don't need this this is what i need uh, but i love the the little front section right here i love the color of that that looks really nice and then it continues on to the front and then i mean there's not a lot of difference with Jazz here, I, the, the 14 is basically the same. Um, like I said, not a lot of difference, uh, but you do have like the little striping on the back fender thing, I guess. So again, like like I said, not a lot of difference um, between these two, but the coloring does look much nicer, I think. And then coming to uh, Sunstreaker, this one is just a huge, huge difference. I, I love the way that this looks, again, more designed to look like the G1 toy. This one has a much more cartoon look with the uh, actual blue for the windshield. Again, this one isn't terribly bad, but not necessary. And when you have this entirely molded in this, you got to use a lot of yellow. And that's where you're seeing this. This, I love the uniformity of the color on that. It looks fantastic, especially here like in the back as well. There's just like a an undertone of darkness to that. That looks so much nicer realistically all the way around very very cool uh, i do really like the autobot logo there this obviously is uh, his chest in in robot mode so you need to have that but i also like that right there and then again you know like that's the front of his feet so you don't really see that nearly as much but in vehicle mode you have it there which looks really very cool and then again the change in the gun i i don't get honestly but i'm glad that they did it for trailbreaker here again very similar, but the lighter gray color as opposed to the black, again, goes from that toy to the actual cartoon. The uh, the subtle use of the little three color thing as opposed to the multiple uses of it around there all look really good. And then again, you got the windshield right here. Now, this this was, oh yeah, that, that was translucent as well. It just pops. It looks brighter. Uh, I do like the uh, Autobot logo on this one a little bit more. I mean, it it stands out, obviously, because you got the white background on a black figure. And this kind of blends in, makes it a little bit harder to see. But I do like the, the Autobot logo there for the most part. But really, again, very, very nice. Love Wheeljack. Love Wheeljack. Again, you got a slightly better color where this is, again, a little bit more off-white for it. But that, that, that's accurate. But removing the green, removing the red, getting rid of all the little decal sort of things on there, just cleans them up, makes them a whole lot more cartoon accurate. I love the uh, the chest section here again. The windshield looks very nice, very bright, vibrant, pops. Whereas this is dark, kind of blends in. But again, G1 toy, so um, still a good figure, much more accurate looking all the way around. Very, and then of course you got the. Uh, rims and things like that i just love that now the biggest difference here is going to be in 
obviously Hound. Uh, very similar, uh, but I mean, and I, I I still like this one because this is a very heavy armored sort of look for him, which is cool. I you got like the whole top section and everything. I do like this a lot. But again, more cartoon accurate with the uh, the lack of that and a much more Jeep sort of look. I even like how they have the windshield painted on the inside and the outside, which is really good. Obviously, the front section here gives a more accurate representation. Again, not that this is a bad figure by any stretch of the imagination. And if you're going to have a more updated look for him, this is a great way to go. I just like that cartoon look. I, I do still... Wish that this was... I mean, this pegs in here perfectly fine. The shoulder section, though, he definitely has a problem with. Uh, but I do really like that. I keep bringing this in. But it, it's a brighter color, uh, much lighter green, obviously. This is much more dark. You got the uh, bronze color around there. You got the uh, Autobot logo. You got the star and everything. So you can see the differences between the two. Transformation is basically the exact same. So that's why I went and skipped it. Uh, you do have this kind of whole section... Right there. I wonder if you can... No, no, you can't really put anything in there. So you do have the whole section right there, which is a little ugly. Uh, this definitely fills that out a little bit more. But in terms of giving us a more accurate representation of the vehicle mode and robot mode and things like that, I'm okay with that. It's still kind of ugly, but, you know, it is what it is. In general, this is a fantastic, fantastic set. You're getting five figures. Uh, the cost on it is about $130, which I don't think is necessarily bad because you are getting five different figures. So you're kind of looking at, and most deluxe figures nowadays range between like $22 to $25 for the most part. So I feel like you're getting a good value for it. It's not an exorbitant amount of money or anything of that nature it's it's not crazy it's not out of the realm of what it should be it, you know 25 25 25 25 20, you know basically you got 125 dollars here which works for me you know they, they have some slightly uh new weapons like, like with a uh, sun streaker and stuff uh, obviously you get the extra gun thing with wheeljack you know like a two-thirds retool of hound uh, for the most part, I'm happy with it. I, I definitely, I, I could see where some people would be definitely upset because you have to buy the set to get this guy. And I understand that. I understand that complaint that people have. For me, I don't mind it because, again, I'm replacing all of these other figures with these ones. You know, like, like great toy, better look for them. So I'm okay with it. You, you got to kind of decide what you want to do, you know, and what you want to, you know, if you want to double dip and buy these, you know, fortunately, for the most part, I uh, just, I sell the a extra figures because I don't need them anymore. So I kind of get my money back in, in that regard. So it works out, but, uh, and there's a lot of places that you can do that as well. Facebook is a huge marketplace for these different things just find different you know transformer buy sell trade groups i mean people do it with you you know so it, it's not you know like oh optobotomist you have a big audience you can you can do yeah yeah that sure but i mean i i go on my facebook groups and i i post this stuff and it's relatively easy to do for the most part but uh but there you go guys i again i don't remember the name like autobot five pack something <laughs> The description will tell you. Uh, but there you go. There's my look at them. And I hope you enjoyed. Now, this set is available right now over at Big Bad Toy Store. So, if you would like to add it to your collection, there's going to be a link down in the video description where you can click on that. Go to Big Bad Toy Store. Add this or any other Transformers to your collection. And have a great day. But uh, that's about it, guys. So, again, once again, thank you all so much for tuning in. Um... I, I do want to. I, I, I'm not. I, I do want to make one little thing. Um, I'm recording this on July 13th, and obviously a lot of um, people know what happened earlier today. And, and I'm not going to make anything political. I'm not going to talk about one thing or the other. Um, but we're in a we're, we're in a crazy time right now, regardless of what side of the political spectrum you're in. And I would just like to say, 
as I, as I kind of always in my videos, you know, the real trouble with the world is that too many people grow up. Uh, be kind to people. You can disagree. You can vehemently disagree. Uh, but just be kind to people. Not everybody has the same beliefs. Not everybody has the same outlook on life. And that's fine. We, we all have that ability. We, we all can believe that kind of stuff. But just understand that not everybody is going to agree with you. And that's okay. Um, that's perfectly fine. So I hope everybody, again, keeps in mind that the real trouble with the world is that too many people grow up. So stay young. Have goodness in your heart. And uh, until next time, this is Octobotomus saying adios, au revoir, and I'll be the same.